Hi gang, Scott here. Uh, I want to talk about something that I've wanted to be in Lightroom for a long time, and that's customized metadata views. Uh, I like my metadata, and uh, if you're like me, you like to have certain fields that you pay attention to. And uh, I, I've missed this feature going back to Apple Aperture back, you know, 2015, I think is the last year I was using Aperture. And finally, this feature is available in Lightroom Classic. Adobe added it recently, and I want to show you how it works and uh, you know, kind of like why I find it to be useful and how you can set it up. So uh, we know our metadata pane, right? We have it in our library. And most of the time, I am parked on the IPTC view that's been in Lightroom for a long time, right? That set of fields, because it has most of what I want. It has a lot of stuff I don't care about. You can see a lot of these fields are blank in my uh, in my photo here. But a couple of things that aren't there that I do use from time to time is like in Quick Describe, I like to be able to set a copy name. And when I have a copy name set, I want to know what it is. And then also, occasionally, I want to know about locations. You know, where did I capture this photo? Uh, and I like to be able to see that. Well, now, if you go to the default metadata view, you'll notice mine looks very different probably than yours. At the bottom is this customize button. You click customize. And now you can choose any number of fields from any area and customize the default view for your metadata. And so I just went through this thing and picked out all the things that I really, really care about. Most of what uh, uh, we care about most of it is in the top half. So as I collapse down these items, you don't have to scroll as much, right? There's a lot of stuff in here. But uh, if you're like me, you like certain data from your IPTC set. You know, you created the photo, when the thing was taken, where it was taken. I use some of these fields for tracking stuff for copyright information, and then of course just some basics. Now things I don't bother including are things like the dimension of the photo or what camera took it or so forth. I'm usually less interested in that. Some of the uh, EXIF settings, you know, I, I get those right above in the histogram. Normally I have my histogram open here as well. Let me cancel that. And I get the basics here, right? I have the basics already there. So this is like my normal view for my work and great, I can see everything. I know that I've set all of my metadata fields for my copyrights. I still get to use all of my different presets that I have. And I am happy that I have everything at my fingertips now. So if you like your metadata, you want to just pare down to what you're most interested in, go to the default, hit that customize button, and you can change the default set for your metadata to be whatever fields that you want. It's a new feature that Adobe rolled out in Lightroom Classic. And I'm jumping all over it right away. I'm set and good to go. Hope you found the video useful. Any other questions, go ahead and drop them below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.